okay good morning everyone so today we are going to discuss about the in this session topic so in the previous sections we have discussed about the trapezoidal speed time curve and quadratic curve now we are going to deal the uh, derivation for maximum speed acceleration retardation from the trapezoidal and quadratic okay so we will take so simplify it first so we will have the two types one is the trapezoidal and the quadratic speed time so here the trapezoidal we are having the and y axis speed and x axis will having the time okay so if we draw the uh, trapezoidal curve for the main line surfaces we'll having the o is the acceleration ab is the rerunning or coasting and bc is the having the braking rate okay so t1 t2 t3 are the times so vm is the maximum speed at kilometer per second hour kilometer per hour okay so here a derivation so derivation if we talk about the derivation we'll have so speed uh, trapezoidal speed time curve is a close approximation to the main line surfaces as we discussed earlier and derivation okay if we take the derivation for the maximum speed so we are t uh, we are having the some assumptions we are having that so here is the d is the distance between two stars and t is the total time so it's a this is the total time so this is the total time and total running between the two stops so acceleration in km psh that the angle so this is the angle the alpha and beta is the retardation due to the kilometer per hour per second okay and vm so maximum speed in the kilometer per hour so this is the vm and va so vm this is the va is the average speed in kilometer per hour and v is the schedule speed in kilometer per hour and t1 is the time of acceleration in seconds t2 is the time of free running in seconds t3 is the retardation in seconds okay so k is equal to 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta okay so we are taking that is the k is a constant 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta okay so from that we are taking so t1 is equal to okay so vm by alpha okay so here we are taking that so t1 is equal to okay so maximum okay vm by alpha okay this is the angle we are placing time okay so here is the angle we are considering the alpha and here is the beta okay so alpha beta so acceleration alpha is the acceleration kilometer per hour per second and beta is the retardation per hour per second here from that t1 is the vm by alpha and t3 is the vm by beta okay so from that t2 is equal to total okay so t2 is equal to t1 okay this is the t minus t1 plus t3 so then we'll get the t21 okay so d okay so here is the distance okay so area of the trapezoidal we are taking as a distance so 1 by okay so here is the not equal this is the into okay of into vm into oc plus ab so this is the distance okay area of the trapezoid oa okay so area of the trapezoid oa basis so from that we'll get in the of into vm into of oc okay so oc plus ab okay then we'll get in the area okay so that is the of into t plus t2 by 3600 so here is the 3600 this is for the time okay so in so we'll have in the we'll this will have in the seconds so that will convert into the hours right that's will take in the kilometer per okay so t1 t3 in seconds right so that will be taking the in hours so here since t2 is equal to t minus t1 minus t3 okay so from that we'll uh, taking so one half into okay one by two into t plus t minus t1 minus t3 okay this is the t2 so t2 if you are sorry okay so 3000 to vm so vm by 7200 so we are multiplied to 2 okay we'll get in the 7200 so we are getting the t plus t so 2t minus so t1 okay we are taking the minus as common so t1 plus t3 okay so from that we'll get in the vm by then substituting the t1 values that is the vm by alpha vm by beta okay so from that d is equal to 
Vm by 7200 of 2t minus Vm of 1 by alpha plus 1 by theta. So this is the derivation for the trapezoidal free time curve. So if you want to find out the D, okay, so area. So the area of the trapezoidal curve will get in the, this value. Okay, so again we are taking, so from that, so distance, okay, so Vm, okay, so D is equal to area. So this is the equation, okay, so we are considering this is the equation 1. So another we are writing the equation. So that is the 7200. Okay. So that is we are taking the <coughs> right hand to left hand side. 7000 into d. So 2t vm minus vm square of 1 by. Okay. So for equation. So here we are taking the so we are taking the vm. Okay. So inputting the vm that is okay so this is so we are multiplying okay to vm okay just we are doing that so we are multiplying this into this side okay to vm okay to theta vm minus vm square okay so that is we are getting the 2 t vm minus vm square 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta okay so 1 by minus okay we are taking so at this side so 1 by alpha plus 1 by minus 2 vm okay is plus 7200 is equal to so 0 so well we are taking okay so from left hand to right side if you taken so we are getting the 0 equating the 0 then we are putting k is equal to okay so then we are putting the k is equal to 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta okay so then we will so we are just will doing that so we are equating this equation okay into 0 okay so we are doing so all r goes to the left hand side okay so then we are getting the, this equation so that is then we are k value okay we are substituting the k value here so that is k vm square minus 2 t vm plus 7200 d is equal to 0 okay so from that we are just substituting the so by substituting 1 by alpha is equal to k okay then we will get in the this side okay so here vm is equal to okay by solving this equation we are getting the so <coughs> we are getting the value okay so that is the vm is equal to 2t plus r minus under root of 2t square minus 4k into 7200 by 2k okay so we are having the equation okay So the equations can be solving the equation a x square three x dx plane c is equal to c. So from that equation we are getting the this value. Okay, equation sum. So here from that one by alpha. So here is the one by alpha plus k. Okay. So from the equation. Okay, so we are taking the equation. So from equation one, one by alpha plus one by theta. Okay. So two t minus seven hundred by v m square and since VA is equal to okay D into 3000 by that's the average okay so average that is we will get in the 3600 by T okay T is equal to D into 3600 by average so 1 by alpha 1 by beta is equal to 2 DT 3600 by VM minus 1000 okay that's here just we are taking equations okay by considering the equation different equations we are getting the value okay just at the end okay so you need to know that what is the k value what is the value okay so this is the solving the different so this is for the uh, trapezoidal speed time curves okay so that is we need to find out the uh, maximum speed uh, average speed then we'll get in the easily okay so first calculating the 1 by alpha 1 by beta values we need to just derive in the equation different okay thank you